Good afternoon, guys. My name is Nirupam Roy, and today I want to talk to you about my research on wireless and mobile systems. I'm not going to talk about how wireless and mobile systems is going to change our life for better, because we are, we are almost convinced about that. But I will just skim over my research that we are doing right now, right here in this building. Okay? So let's get started. We are all told to dream big, right? But in our lab, we are dreaming of small, very tiny, small things, small devices that can compute and function sense this world. In this uh, project, we are developing world's smallest microphone array. And we are calling it, obviously, tiny array. You know, the microphone arrays are just a collection of a bunch of microphones put together. And really important to find the direction of the sound, uh, where the sound is coming from. And it is really useful for many, many applications. But the problem with that, if we make the microphone array small, this direction finding doesn't work. It is a fundamental challenge. But we took this challenge, and we developed algorithms that can make uh, the microphone really, really small, so small that can be packed into within a few millimeters, and can still find the direction of arrival of a sound. We have developed everything from the algorithm, from the conception, to the prototype right here in our lab. Now we have something, a small, tiny array, microphone array that can find the direction of sound. What we can do with this? We can put it in, on the top of a drone and track the location of the drone. Even we can put it on the top of a honeybee. And we can study the behavior and the motion and location of that uh, small insect. Right? There are many other applications. Currently, we are focusing on one uh, interesting application where we are developing small wearable skin patches with this tiny array that can listen to your internal body sounds and vibration. It can localize whether it is coming from your heart or whether it's the sound of your respiratory system. And it can tell, continuously monitor and tell whether your heart is pumping right and whether there is any problem with your respiratory system early enough. So lots more applications are uh, there. I can talk about this for hours. But for now, let's move to the next project. Here, one of my students is holding a tiny device that looks and also works like an earphone. But it is equipped with motion sensors. So now we can sense the motion of our head while the person is actually wearing those headphones. And continuously, we can precisely track the motion and 3D motion of our head. And if you can imagine, head motion actually captures lots of information about our emotional state, our eating behavior, our gesture of walking, and so on. So that can open up lots of applications. And one of the interesting applications is in, in the field of sports analytics. So the, we can now give some useful tips to our uh, players if they can wear these small devices in their ear while they are playing. We can tell them your body motion was not right at this point. You should behave like this. Uh, and so on. And also importantly, it can tell whether any impact can lead to some head injury or concussion, something like that. All right? Let's move to the third project. Here, it is a little different. Here, we are trying to communicate through human body using vibration. All right? We all know that. Uh, smart devices like smart watches, smartphone, come with a tiny actuator called vibration motor, right? That vibrates our devices when it is in silent mode. And also, smart devices come with small sensors, motion sensors called accelerometers that can sense the ambient vibration. So, with these two devices, we turn them into transmitter and receiver, just like uh, wireless communication nodes. And we send patterns of vibration to encode bits of information that can be transferred through your body that will percolate through our bones. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. 
it will not vibrate or rattle your head, uh, hand. Uh, it is so, uh, we design it in a way that you cannot feel the vibration even if it is when it is uh, transmitting at 32 kbps of data rate. All right? So it can open up a lot of application, including the possibility of opening a car door by simply touching it or uh, doing dual uh, authentication system by simply uh, touching the finger with your device, right? These are only three examples from many other applications and uh, projects we are uh, doing here. And those projects run from, uh, range from uh, acoustic sensing to localization to robotic wireless network and to core protocol design for wireless system. And we find our applications in cyber physical system, wireless communication, personal computing, and mobile health. Now, at this moment, this building, our department, EMEAC, are ready to delve deeper into this kind of research. We have a 5,000 square feet maker space ready for you guys. If you can come up with any idea, you can develop the prototype right on the same day. If you have not visited that makerspace, go and visit that today. We have an array of uh, courses that will prepare you for research in wireless and mobile systems. I am offering a course this semester called Wireless and Mobile Systems for the IoT. It has uh, essential parts in wireless communication, uh, acoustic sensing, motion detection, and many more. Last semester in spring 19, I offered the same courses. And students not only learn from that, they develop real prototype. And we uh, demonstrated that real prototype to hundreds of visitors during the Maryland day right in this building. Right? If you have not registered for that course, unfortunately, the course is already full for this semester. But don't worry, we will offer this course again and again in uh, upcoming semester. But if you don't want to wait until then, come and visit our lab, Wireless and Mobile Systems Lab, right here in the th third floor. 3245 is the room number. And we have just set up this lab for in-house development and prototyping for all the experiment we need for wireless communication and mobile systems research. And these are the vibrant students that I have right now, but we are open to many more. So if you want to taste this uh, feel of this research, uh, starting from the conception to the prototyping, come talk to us and join the lab. Thank you.